Hi everyone, I'm Ranger Becca here at Flathead Lake State Park. Welcome to another Forestry Friday. Do you ever wonder what type of tree you're looking at walking through the woods, but its leaves are way up high? Or it's winter and some of these trees don't even have leaves to help you identify. So many tree experts, like foresters, use a number of different tree characteristics to identify trees, including their bark. Here at Wayfarers and Northwestern Montana in general, each tree has their own specific bark. Douglas fir bark is thick and deeply furrowed. Color is gray to brown, and it's usually brown at the bottom of the furrows. The bark of the ponderosa pine is the most striking and distinctive characteristic of this pine, with flat red or yellow plates shaped like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. The bark tends to be more colorful on older trees, and if you happen to be in the woods in the summertime, the bark smells like vanilla. Western larch bark has gray or brown flaky plates becoming furrowed on older trees, like this one. Small grand fir trees have smooth gray bark with resin blisters, while some larger trees or larger portions of the grand fir tree break out into flat ridges and narrow furrows. Paper birch has gray or brown bark when young and turns white and peels when older, like this tree here. The bark of a cottonwood is smooth and white at first and becomes gray and furrowed. This tree here is an excellent example. Bark is not just an identifying characteristic for trees, it is vital to their survival. Bark acts like the tree's skin. It is an intricate framework of cells and fibers, providing protection against water loss and predators. The outer bark is composed of compressed cork layers, ensuring protection and that the tree can move sugars and water to wherever needed. The inner bark is composed of tissues that transport sugars created in the leaves to other parts of the tree. This tissue is called phloem. As trees grow, they add cells to internal layers. As the tree continues to grow, these layers are pushed outward. They compress and die. Bark forms as a part of this process. This internal layer responsible for growth of cells is called the cambium. Now, when you're out in the woods identifying trees, you can add bark to your tree identifying toolkit. Or if you're just out in the woods, enjoying the beauty of our trees. You can look at the bark and remember that that bark is working hard to keep that tree alive and green. Thank you for joining me on this Forestry Friday.